the name Bert Jansch for me personally is equivalent to the title of this famous folk blues guitar instrumental Angie written by Davy Graham back in 1961 and recorded by Bert Jansch in 63 I think by many other players by John Renborn, Paul Simon, the Dutch player Harry Saxioni and that song, Angie, has a very special meaning for me because it turned into probably one of the most important life lessons I've ever had. Angie is one of those songs that every guitarist wants to learn. So when I was 13, I heard that song on the radio and it was like a complete paradigm shift in terms of what I thought was possible with an acoustic guitar. So I wanted to learn to play that song. But in those years, there was no internet, no YouTube, no tablature. Um, I never had any guitar lessons. I couldn't read music. So I learned to play guitar by listening to records and then try to reproduce what I, what I heard. So I got myself the record. I listened to the performance. And then I said to myself, Eljo, you might as well not even try this. This is way out of your league you'll never learn to play like this. So I never even tried to play it. I gave up before I even started. And that lasted for, I think, a year. And then one day I was 14 years old and I remember that as if it were yesterday. I said to myself, you know, I don't care how hard it is. I just sit down with my record player. I'm gonna to listen to the song. I'm gonna learn the first note first two notes, I just try and we'll see where it leads to. And it took me a week before I could play the entire song, Angie. And that was the moment, I think, that I turned from a 14-year-old teenager into a guitarist. And I was so angry with myself. And I said to myself, Elcho, you stupid adult, you have been wasting a year of your life saying you can do it before you even tried. Never ever do that again. And in fact, ever since then, I never allowed that thought in, 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 into my head. I, I think you should never try to predetermine your personal limitations before you do something. There's no point. It can only make things worse. So that is why Angie is such an important song for me. So when I was invited for uh, around the world in 80 plays for Bert Jans. The first thing I saw about Bert Jans, Angie, I'm going to play Angie. Mm -hmm. But I decided not to do that. Uh, I'm sure there will be other players who are going to play Angie and that would be an excellent choice. But I'm going to play an arrangement that I wrote a couple of years ago for um, a famous old fiddle tune. It's called um, Black Mountain Rag. And the reason I'm going to play this is because at the moment it is technically, I think, the most challenging piece I can play. And when I wrote this arrangement, I realized it was full of fast riffs and finger twisters and all kinds of things that seemed to be almost impossible to play. And it took me quite a bit of the uh, Angie mentality to, to learn to play this song. So it's sort of a demonstration of what the, the Angie mentality can can lead to. So we're going to the studio now, we're going to record it and um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> ¶¶ 